Welcome to this week's What's for Dinner. Thank y'all for coming back every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Central Time to watch these videos. I enjoy putting them out for y'all and it also gets me motivated to cook. This week, I'm gonna be sharing four recipes. Two of them are really easy, one especially easy. Um, so I hope y'all will enjoy them. This was my kids last week of school, so I have been busy going to awards assemblies and all kinds of stuff. So uh, that's why some of the meals are a little bit easy and quick fix, but hey, it's real life. Also, I wanted to let y'all know that today's video is very special because it's in collaboration with my friend, Kat Price, from the YouTube channel, southern farm and kitchen yes i always get confused with that i want to say it backwards but anyways yes southern farm and kitchen she is from north carolina and she shares some good country southern style food i know that y'all are going to love her channel so make sure when you're done watching my video go check out hers and i just know you're going to be blown away by all of her good recipes and good meals also i'd like to let y'all know her husband, Bob, has been fighting cancer. He has kidney cancer, and there has been a GoFundMe account that was created for them to help with expenses during this time while he is not able to work. I also will leave that link down below in the description box. So if you feel led to help out, you know, any little contribution will help, but if you feel led to, I will have that link down below along with her YouTube channel and her Instagram uh, page. So anyways, y'all, and um, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Hey y'all. Today we're gonna be making um, copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizzas. I don't know about y'all, but where we live, and I think all Taco Bells nationwide, have discontinued their Mexican pizzas. And I don't know why. That was like my husband's favorite thing to order, and I really like them. So I got on Pinterest and found a copycat recipe. So we're gonna start out, I have a pound of ground beef and I'm about to season it up with some salt and pepper, onion and garlic. And we're gonna brown it and then we're gonna add in a package of taco seasoning and I just went ahead and bought some. I was gonna buy the Taco Bell brand, but I forgot. So I just got the old El, the old El Paso brand. So we're gonna do that. And then in just a second, back here I've got a frying pan. I'm gonna add some oil to, and we're going to fry up some corn tortillas. I'll let you see when I get to that part. But for now, we're gonna season this up and brown, uh, gonna brown this meat. Okay, y'all, um, our meat is still cooking, but I wanna go ahead and start heating up some oil uh, back here in this pan. I'm gonna turn it a little above, kind of in between medium and medium high. So kind of in that area. So we're going to let that warm up. And then I've got some corn tortillas that we're going to fry in that oil. Okay, got our meat done. Now we're going to add in our taco seasoning. And this particular one, you add two thirds a cup of water. So we're going to do that. Sprinkle this in. And I will get my two-thirds a cup of water. I'm gonna mix this up well. And then we're just gonna let this simmer for probably about 10 minutes. I also have my oven. Uh, I preheated my oven to 400 because we're gonna assemble these and put them in the oven at the very end. And my oil, I believe, is hot enough now. So as soon as I get this all mixed in, we will start frying up the tortillas. And um, we went to a Mexican grocery store and we bought some homemade corn and flour tortillas. So I still had some of those left from when we had a, we had a, like a fajita barbecue thing. And I should have filmed it. I wish I would have. But we still have some of that. So I'm just going to kind of turn this down lower and uh, let that simmer away. And on these, they won't need to simmer very, or they don't need to fry very long. And then I'll remove it and put it over here on a, a paper towel line plate. 
I will continue to fry these up and come back when I'm done. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get ready to assemble these. I have some thick and, thick and chunky salsa, and I'm gonna add in some of this red enchilada sauce. Um, they were only doing like a half a cup of meat, oh, half a cup, sorry, a half a pound of meat. I'm doing a whole pound. And then I'm just kind of mixing this to what I think it should be, I don't know if this is exactly right. I think they did like a third, yeah, a third a cup of enchilada sauce, a third a cup of chunky salsa. So anyways, that's what I have here mixed together. So we're gonna start out, I have a little assembly line, and I'm gonna start out with a tortilla, and we're going to spread a couple of tablespoons of bean, refried beans just straight out of the can. We're just gonna uh, spread that onto our tortillas. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Next, we're going to um, top these with some of the taco meat. And then we're going to top this with another tortilla. And we're going to do our little, take our enchilada sauce slash salsa, and we're going to put, spread that on top. We're going to sprinkle these with cheese. And it called for like cheddar and I think Monterey Jack or something, but all I have is cheddar, so it'll work. And then I did not dice any tomatoes because normally when I order them, I always say to cut the tomatoes. And so. Now we're gonna place this into the oven and we're gonna let it bake for about five to 10 minutes until this cheese is good and melted. So this is pretty easy. Come right back when it's done. There they are, y'all. I'm gonna get a little pizza cutter, cut them into the little X's uh, like they do at... That is so cute. Just gonna, usually when you get them there, they have them cut like... Hey Adrian, how do you like this? I don't think you've ever had a Mexican pizza, so. Is it good though? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like a Mexican pizza, but it's good to me. What about you, Courtney? Do you like it? I've never had a Mexican pizza, but it tastes really good. And then my husband's here. Is it good? Yep, all right. I think next time I would buy the, the crispy, like tostada shell type things. Mm. Cause I think that, cause they got a little, even though I fried these, it got a little soft in the oven. I don't know, but pretty you know good what else and easy. Good? What? Copycat Taco Bell quesadillas. Well, no, that's just quesadillas. <laughs> they have special something. The Mexican pizzas, man. I can't believe they got rid of them. They're good. Anyways, alrighty. Hey, y'all. Welcome to tonight's What's for Dinner. Things have changed up a little. Okay, I bought this. I don't know how you say it. Mol 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 Molinarios or something. It's a thin crust pizza kit. And this came from Sam's Club. And it's a package with five pizza crust. And it also has um, sauce in there. Five packages, I believe, too. So, we are going to give these a try tonight. Um, and see how they are. And there's also, oh yeah, a resealable bag that I can put the ones in that we don't use. And I wanted to look at what their instructions say. We're gonna preheat our oven to 450. We're gonna put the tomato sauce and whatever toppings we want. We're gonna place it in 
directly on the rack for eight to ten minutes and yeah that's basically it very easy so I'm gonna do that for heat <clears throat> okay y'all we are going to start out with the first pizza I'm gonna put this um, sauce on and spread it out and then I have some mozzarella cheese here that I'm gonna use first and then I bought some pepperoni and this one I'm gonna do a little bit different we're gonna put that same like tomato sauce on here and spread it out and we're gonna this time I'm gonna open up this big old bag that I bought at Sam's because I ran out of the other so we're gonna put some of it on there but on this one I have leftover taco meat from when we made our Mexican pizzas yesterday I'm gonna sprinkle that on this one and I heated this up some because it was kind of so I knew it would be a little easier to spoon out because <clears throat> it was cold and it was kind of clumped together so so now we're gonna stick these in the oven I'm just gonna place them in there directly in the oven and cook them for about eight to ten minutes and then we'll come back and let you know how they turn out all right there's the first one the pepperoni only here's the one with the pepperoni and the taco meat I think it looks really good so we're going to cut this up and give it a try and we'll let you know what we think. All right, Courtney, give me your opinion on this pizza. Um, the taco meat one or whatever, um, it tastes like a taco, it's really good. <coughs> I like the cheese on it. And the pepperoni one tastes like what you get from the store, but cheesier and better. Mmm. All right, Ross. What do you think? I'm gonna this one so far. <laughs> How do you like it? Good splash thing. <laughs> okay, how, are, how did you like the pizza? It's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. This one here is a lot cheesier. That cheese there uh, is a lot cheesier than the first kind of cheese, but I recommend this. This kit was like $7 for what? five pizzas, crust, and five of the sauces. I think that's a really good deal. So, highly recommend it. All you have to do is get your oh, toppings. Yep. Hey y'all, welcome to tonight's What's for Dinner. We are gonna be making an easy uh, skillet chicken parmesan recipe. So I'm gonna start out with my chicken breast which I've had they thawed out and I'm going to I need to trim off some of the fat before I do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna pound these out flatten them out anyways I'm gonna quickly trim these trim the fat and stuff off of it and then I will be right back okay I've got three huge chicken breasts y'all and I'm going to first salt and pepper these I forgot to do that already, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna salt and pepper these real quick, and I did wash my hands. It might be a little bit, look like a lot of pepper, but oh well. A lot of it'll fall off, but oh well. Now we're gonna put this chicken into a gallon size Ziploc bag, and we're gonna see if I can do this part right. Now, I've got my meat mallet tenderizer thingamajigger whatever it is this was actually my mama's so there's no telling how old this is and what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> i don't know if this is a good idea i have all three of them in here but that's what they said to do so it says to lay them flat so let's see okay got them laid flat and we're going to pound these down and try to get these to be equal sized so that they'll cook evenly so I'm gonna fill around and like over here on this, I filled this one, this batter over here. We're gonna open up this Ziploc bag and we're gonna add in our flour, just right to it. And we're gonna need about a quarter cup of flour so we're just gonna go ahead and just pour that quarter cup of flour right into the bag. I like this. So then we just, we're gonna shake it all up and coat our chicken right in, right in here. 
once we have that all whisked together, or shaked up, we're going to put our chicken in our skillet. And I need to put about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna bring you over here to my skillet. And we're gonna be using the cast iron skillet. As y'all can tell, I'm really starting to like this cast iron skillet. So let me find my olive oil. We're gonna put about a tablespoon of that in. I'm just guessing, that may be more than a tablespoon. And we're gonna heat this up over medium high heat. So we're gonna let this start to heat up. And then in the meantime, we're gonna make up our sauce. So I will show you that. I'm gonna be flipping back and forth. Okay, according to the directions, you're supposed to whisk all this stuff together, but I'm not. I'm going to put it in this blender and kind of blend it a little bit because I don't want big chunks of these tomatoes. I did get petite diced tomatoes. You're gonna to want a 28 ounce can. And these just happen to be, and I don't know if y'all can see it because I opened my can up so I can't tilt it too much here. I'll move the, woo, move the camera where you can see it. This is actually Italian style, so it has some little extra seasoning to it. So, we're gonna pour all of that into my blender. And then you're also gonna want says a 5 by a 5.5 ounce can of tomato paste. This is 6 ounce. Close enough. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to put in 2 teaspoons of dried basil. And then we're just going to stick it over here in my blender, y'all. This is my old blender I've had forever. And we're just gonna kind of mix that up a little bit. Um, now, I'm gonna look at it and see how that looks. And that, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. What am I putting up? Let's get that rest of that in there. Yep, now we're gonna just kind of set this to the side until we're ready for it. But in the meantime, let's take and come over here. Ooh, our, our, our pan is, ooh, it's heating up. Look at that, y'all. It's starting to smoke, which is not good, probably. Now we're gonna get our chicken in here. And I really think, I'm gonna turn on my, I'm gonna turn this back burner on. And once I see that burner's getting hot enough, I think I'm gonna move this over there. Cause this burner for some reason is so uneven. Uh, I really need a new stove. So maybe I can get my husband talked into that pretty soon. So I've got y'all over over here now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the chicken sear on each side for a couple of minutes until it's crusty and golden. And then we're gonna remove the skillet from the heat. And then we're gonna pour our chicken mixture over the chicken, our chicken mixture, <laughs> our tomato mixture over the chicken. Okay, y'all, I'm not seared a little too much. So, I'm not gonna sear the other side as much. This just really <laughs> didn't go how I thought it was going. Very smoky. Now, this recipe calls for using spinach, but we're not using spinach spinach leaves. You can do that if you want. And now we're going <coughs> to pour this tomato sauce mixture over the chicken. I have some uh, uh, shredded Parmesan cheese that I'm going to use. And I also have some grated, so we'll see. I may use a little bit of both. But we're wanting to sprinkle that over the top of each piece of chicken. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, my oven is preheated to 350. So make sure you have your oven preheated to 350. And if you don't have a cast iron skillet, as long as you have an oven safe skillet, uh, you can just put that directly into your um, oven. If not, then get, I guess, a casserole dish or something. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this over it too. 
And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this in the oven and we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes until the chicken is done and the cheese is uh, melted and golden. So we will come back in about 20 minutes. Also, I'm putting on some uh, water so that I can make some spaghetti noodles to serve on the side with this. So we're gonna get our water ready and have that those noodles boiling while we finish cooking that up. Okay, y'all, got the chicken done. And these are so big, so we're gonna end up probably cutting them in half because there's four of us. Um, my husband is working, so he won't be eating supper, but me and the kids will. And then I didn't make a ton of the noodles but I did make some spaghetti noodles. I left, someone had told me once before to leave just a little bit of the water in there and I put a little bit of oil in there while it was cooking to try to keep it from sticking together. So yeah, Courtney's over here making drinks and we're just eating right here because, I'm gonna flip y'all around. I have a project, I'm gonna show a little peek. So, <laughs> that'll be coming up on a video within the next week or so but we will sit down and eat and let you know what we think. All right, Courtney, how do you like this? Um, you all know I don't really like spaghetti, but, <laughs> and then the chicken, though, okay, but yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's pretty good-ish. Oh, <laughs> okay, Bryce, how do you like it? It's great. Mm, don't really hit my face, I don't think. Um, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> there was that little bit of burnt down there, but it was good. I did smoky flavor. <laughs> I'm just not going to tell me about that on my chin. Oh, I didn't even wow. see it. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Adrian, it must be good. You've done tore it up. Yeah, I guess so. You like it? Mm. 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 Hmm? You like my cookie? Oh, look. He got his hair cut. Can I turn around and show him the sides? Smack. He did a different kind of haircut. Smack. Smack. I did. Smack. Look Smack at, it. Hey, he looks so handsome, my boy. I know. You don't guys tell me. It'll look like he got a haircut. Yes, it is. And then I'm um, still working on mine, but this was actually pretty good. Hey, y'all. Tonight we are going to be making an easy recipe called crispy butter chicken. I'm going to start out with the breading. Um, you're going to need one cup of Ritz cracker crumbs or what I did was club crackers. So hopefully that will work because that's what I had. I actually started um, breaking them up in here, but I wanted to measure make sure. So there's one cup of that. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm using a quarter teaspoon um, measuring deal. So I'm going to do two of those. And then also a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that is gonna be the simple breading uh, for the chicken. And then we're also going to um, <clears throat> put two eggs into a, a dish and I'm gonna whisk those together in just a minute and that will be used for our breading. I mean, for the liquid part of the breading, I guess we say the dip. <laughs> So, we're going to mix this up good, and then I'm going to get our chicken also, and we will start getting this ready. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. Okay, y'all, we are back with our chicken, and I trimmed it up some, and kind of, they were really big um, chicken breasts, so I cut them in half, and I'm just going to dip them into the eggs. And then I'm going to um, coat it in the cracker crumbs. Let me try to make sure you can see everything I'm doing. And then from there, I have a 9 by 13 inch pan that we're going to put them in. So hopefully this is enough crackers uh, for these. If not, I'll crush up some more. Next thing we're gonna do is, let me open up my recipe one more time, just make sure that I'm telling you correctly. I think that is all I need to do. Oh, next we're gonna take, I need a half a cup of butter and we're gonna cut it into pieces. I knew I was forgetting something, so let me get that out. Okay. 
So now I have um, the butter on. So we're gonna place this in our oven. Like I said, that's been it was preheated uh, to 375, and we're gonna bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer on 35, and then I'll check it. Hey, Courtney, how is the food? It's good. Is it good? Tomorrow is their last day of school for this year. Are you excited? Bryce, how is it? It's good. Good with barbecue. I'm going to try it with a branch up when I get another one. Yeah, there's That's one more. One. Okay. okay. This boy right here got his driving permit today. Mm hmm. And he can start driving with me. Uh, What'd you do? Four on my tooth. Why don't you do that? Happens. It's like cutting a chalkboard with a <laughs> knife. Not even pinging off the knife. <laughs> okay, how are you? I'm refreshed. You're refreshed? Oh, yeah, because he took his bath a while ago. Oh, oh, yeah. And then he had to take a bath. Dad told you not to do that. <laughs> how is yeah, the food? Huh? How's the food? Is it good? It's a bam. Okay. Did you get a, a award for what were you today? I got the award for class comedian. Class comedian. <laughs> My silly boy. Anyways, y'all, this chicken was so easy to make and it's just, it's so, um, so moist. Like, it's not dry at all. It's good, right? It's really good. Oh. See my permit? <clears throat> yes, you do. Pop up in the Jeep. You can just scribble out anything else, I guess. All right. Cover your... Just show okay. your face. <laughs> your identity. Me. There it is. Thank you. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this week's What's for Dinner. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah.